Jim, with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the San Francisco 49ers and the Las Vegas Raiders. On that offensive line, they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting them if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Purdy with it on third and long. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Here's Purdy. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Establishing is a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they're going to give up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Touchdown versus holding him to a field goal. That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. The kick by Gold is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Purdy now to throw. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Purdy. That's caught by Jennings. And he has fine soft spots and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And they run the option here on first and ten. And good work there in open space. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. The kick by Gold is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. Now it's Stidham. Being chased out left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. They go play action now. Stidham. Flush to his right. And it's complete to Adams. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. They find some open field here. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Fourth down and on comes a Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Carlson is good. And they are on the board trailing. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Purdy to throw it on first down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. Put it in his hands, let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. McCaffrey running up the middle. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And that is no good. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Toward the sideline, and look at that Purdy's catch. Purdy's dragging the toes. <laughs> this offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. Here's Purdy. Completes it to Jennings. And they'll get this down to the 10. The kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. 
And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Ray Ray McLeod as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers would extend their lead here just before halftime. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And it's up and good to make the score 13 to 3. On third down, it's Purdy. Open man is Ayu complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Offense to do, and right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. Now Purdy. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. Staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 36, Purdy into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. He's at the 40, 20, 10, 5, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Well, here in this third quarter, the whole complexion, the ball game flips on a dime there, CD. This is back to a one-score game. And sometimes when your offense is sputtering, you as a defensive end have to take it upon yourself to say, we've got to go out there, maybe take a few chances along the way, and see if we can generate some points ourselves. And lo and behold, they were able to deliver. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Back to throw, Purdy. Got an open man, it's McLeod. And so here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 46. On first down, Purdy. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. A little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the... And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from a yard out. And the 49ers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Gold to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Stidham will throw again. And the reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. The Raiders on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They go play action now. Stidham. Able to find runner. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 17 yard line. If you're down here, this is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Jacobs again. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs takes it in from a yard out. And the Raiders have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should realize they're not... ...of this as they come up first and ten. Now Stidham. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 35. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Stidham. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. 
And his kick is indeed good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. Possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. Purdy to throw it on first down. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. All right, you don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to him. And now this first drive in OT continues. Oh, what a move. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy. Where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice gain, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. On this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? The overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each better opportunity to convert on third down. Stidham, third down from the gun. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. We've been in those situations and seen it. If you get to fourth down, especially in overtime. Things get a little shakier, don't they? The hands get shaky, right? The throw, if you're gonna throw the ball, being able to run it, all of that, coming down to one big play, very nice of them, and nice for them to pick it up on third. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Stidham going back to the air. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game for the 